While Americans celebrate Independence Day across the country, thousands line the streets of Bristol for the annual 4th of July parade. It's the nation's oldest July 4th celebration, and it continues to grow each and every year. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Bristol this evening. Brandon, are things wrapping up? Are people still down there? You could not have asked for a better day for this parade. It is the 234th time this town has held this, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. And for the thousands of people that line this near three mile route, well, it did not disappoint. If it's the 4th of July in Bristol, you can bet there's a declaration to celebrate. Fantastic. I love seeing also all the military uh, being represented here and then also the old uniforms and the music. The 234th Bristol 4th of July Parade featuring all the sights and sounds you would expect. Bands taking to the streets, planes overhead, and of course, all the best food. It's a great time to just celebrate. The, uh, the United States, you know, and patriotism. The celebration grabbing national attention. I didn't know anything about this Bristol parade, so we said, let's go. She made the plans and we came. Shelly Hood and her family are here from North Carolina. The trip taking more than 15 hours yesterday. We started out at 7 o'clock yesterday morning and drove from North Carolina, ran into all that good traffic. And uh, we got here about 11 o'clock last night. Along with thousands of others along the route, the Hood family arrived early this morning to save a spot, a fact she says was well worth it. It's fun to see all the military here and celebrating our freedom. And it's just, we're, we're so lucky to be able to do this. So that's why we're here. It certainly was warm out today. Heat related illnesses were a concern. Last year, about 50 people had to be treated along the route for uh, dehydration. This year, we spoke with someone on the route who the first responder calling it a pretty routine day for them. Now, coming up in the next hour, we're going to speak to someone who was here overnight, staying the night to get this. Hear why he says it's more about than just getting a good spot. That's coming up all new at 6. Live in Bristol, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, TJ. Well, it was a perfect day for people heading down to Bristol for Independence Day celebrations. The 234th Bristol 4th of July parade drew thousands this morning. It's the oldest 4th of July celebration in the country. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt was there for it. He's been in Bristol all afternoon long. Brandon, have things quieted down out there? Yeah, Caroline, they sure have, but I got to tell you, this was my first 4th of July here in Bristol, and there's a general consensus with the people here that it just did not disappoint. Many of them getting here early this morning. We talked to one man who got here before midnight. When planning to attend one of the largest 4th of July celebrations in the country, you'd expect to get here a little early. And we got up at 6 this morning. We got here around 7. We, we did leave our house at 6. But if you're Mitch Kamara of Swansea, you get here even earlier. Uh, I came right after the fireworks about 11 o'clock. It's a bit of an overnight tradition for Kamara and his family. He spent the night here right on Hope Street. Yeah, I laid down, took a nap, sat and napped in a chair. Kamara says he's been coming to this same spot for the parade his entire life, all 23 years. I like the uh, the Musketeers. I like all the Army vehicles. Some of the show cars, the oldie cars that come through. Walking the street, you hear story after story of people's connection to this parade, making a little history of their own while celebrating Independence Day. But I just love it. I love the atmosphere. It brings you back to like uh, the old times, you know, good old fashioned America. Camara was just one of the thousands along this parade route. Heat, obviously a concern today. It was a great day, but it was a little warm. They had hydration stations set up along this parade route. We spoke with the first responders here, and they say the day went off with no major incidents. Live in Bristol, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.